All right, welcome back to the Reading Royals Summer Signing Series. Mark Thompson, broadcaster for the team, along with head coach Larry Corville, announcing for the team today the 11th signing this season. It is the defenseman Matt Campanelli. Local boy done well, coach out of Chester Springs, Pennsylvania. Had him last year, bringing Matt Campanelli back into the fold. Big, solid, rugged D-man. Yeah, we're definitely happy to have him back. He uh, played extremely well for us last year. And play in all situation was great in our locker room. You know, he plays our power play, kills penalties. But he's also had some experience in the back end that uh, will help manage some of our younger guys and, and show them the ropes. So we're extremely happy to have him back. Like I said, he's, he's played really well for us last year. He wants to be in Rennie. He's more of a local guy. Um, and he's a great teammate, so uh, we're definitely excited to have him back. You know, we look at Campy, and he's one of those guys that does have the look of a good, solid, stay-at-home guy. Very solid body, not afraid, obviously, to get involved in the physical stuff, but he put up pretty good numbers last year. He had seven goals, 19 assists, 26 points, played to plus seven for you as well. I think there was a little bit maybe more production than you might have anticipated out of Matt Campanelli last year. Well, I think it all depends on the opportunity they get on, you know, on special teams, of course, and he was a big part of our special teams. And, uh, you know, he kind of run the back end for us on, on our power play. And like you said, he, he played a lot of valuable minutes for us. He was, uh, you know, we consider him a top four guy for us, got a lot of valuable minutes. You know, when a guy plays a power play and kills penalties, and place a regular shift five on five and also four on four on those, on those special team situations, you're going to see a lot of ice time. And you need to step up and be able to handle that situation. And with his experience, it definitely helped, and uh, he did a very good job for us. And it doesn't take long to see as well that he played 71 games for you. One of the elements that really stands out for Matt Campanelli is conditioning. I've already alluded to it a couple of times. He's a big, solid guy. Excellent condition. It certainly showed up last year. 71 games for you. Only missed one game, and I think that was when you were rotating D. You just kept him out one day. Yep. He's, he's the type of player who's there every night, and it's almost like you you don't even have to look down the, in the locker room. You just pencil him in automatically. Yeah, he's just one of those guys that brings uh, brings a little bit of everything in, in his game, so he's kind of hard to take out a lineup because he does a little bit of everything. We talked about special teams, and you're right. We set him out one game at the beginning of the year where you know I'm a big believer and giving everybody an opportunity early, and uh, we rotated the defensemen. Everyone, but I believe everyone besides maybe Fleming side out because we have uh, lost some guys to to call up with Patrick Way and stuff. But uh, you know, I usually do that early, make sure everyone's on board, and it's not really about one individual; it's about the team. We want to give everybody an opportunity and and uh, fight for those top six uh, role def on the defensive side and and see who earns those top six every night. And, and uh, he understood and, and was willing to do that. And, and that's one of the reasons why we're bringing him back again. You know, Matt played a couple of seasons with the Elmira Jackals. And we talk about hockey IQ and how important it is to develop that sense of hockey IQ. And I can't help but think that his hockey IQ took a pretty big leap. He was partnered with Craig Rive, the, the, the long time NHL player who happened to play in Elmira in the 11-12 season and they were partnered and I know we played against them a number of times yeah. and every night those two you could almost they were playing like 35 minutes a game for right. crying out loud and I gotta believe that has impacted Matt's career rather significantly that he's picked up a lot off of Craig Rive that we see right now as a fourth year pro. Well I'm sure it did I'm sure it did because playing with a guy like Craig Rive with that much NHL experience and uh, picking up on some of his habits and the way he does things, the way he handles himself on the ice and even off the ice. And, uh, you know, a lot of coaches who haven't probably seen Matt play, maybe out west, uh, are going to say, well, he played a lot. He played his deep partner was Craig Rive. How good is he, right? So uh, you're going to look really good when you play with a guy like Craig Rive. Your partner always, you know, your deep partner, you have to have somebody that you feel comfortable with that you can read and react off and, and have good chemistry with. And, and you know, he was. Uh, you know, had a couple of different pairings with our group last year, but did an extremely good job, worked well with everybody, and, and didn't complain whether it was some Fleming or uh, a guy like Molly or somebody else playing with him. He, you know, he adjusted really well, and, and uh, you know, he was a great defenseman for us. You know, one of the things you and I talk about regularly with the number of skaters you're allowed to dress in the ECHL 16, you really, it's hard to carry with, you know, the traditional tough guy. And he, yeah. he, he, it just, you, the, everybody's got to be able to play. So to be able to get a little bit of that toughness out of a player who you know can still bring other elements every night is critical. Matt Campanelli, like a number of other guys that, that you've had, but, yeah. but he's certainly not afraid to drop. We've seen him drop the gloves and get at it yeah. when you have to, and it's nice to know that it's there. He's not a guy who's, I would call, 
you know, a meathead by any stretch yeah. of the, the right. imagination. But by the same token, he's not afraid to drop the gloves and go at it. No, I think uh, for me as a coach, I'm looking for a guy. I like to have every single one of my guys able to play every single role, uh, whether they're a skill guy or a defensive specialist, uh, physical aspect of the game. It has to be there, in my opinion. I'll try to get that out of everybody. And some guys are more willing to do it than others, that, you know. But, you know, for the perfect scenario for me is you can have 18 guys who can play that way. And you can score goals, who can play physical, will drop the gloves if they have to in, in, in different situations, especially there for their teammates and their, t you know. So for me, I would love to have 18 guys it's like that, but uh, Capinelli definitely did that for us last year. And we're, that's one of the reasons, again, we're bringing it back. All right, signing number 11 for the Reading Royals here for the 2014-15 season. The defenseman Matt Campanelli out of Chester Springs, University of New Hampshire product. Coach, as always, I want to thank you very much for stopping by and speaking with us. Well, thanks for having me again. And thanks you, thank you fans as well.